Hello. Welcome to OJ Studios. Please enjoy this week's chapter of the article by Olivia Julius. I worked with Ethan to get the campfire ready to go. I was wearing a pair of shorts and a t-shirt that had the sleeves cut off it. I don't know why Alex did this to this t-shirt but hey I guess now he must go through worse things than a cut up t-shirt, so who am I to complain? Ethan walked over with a large log and threw it onto the fire. I watched as sparks from the fire and started to engulf the log. I turned my head as I started to blink away the smoke that started to come my way. All is my son a little scared of smoke? Ethan teased. Shut up. I said. I don't think you would like it if you had a face full of smoke, I retorted, rolling my eyes at Ethan. He just laughed and threw another log onto the fire, sending more sparks flying. Ethan had always been the playful one in the family, but now, seeing him in his role as the parent, he seemed to relish the opportunity to tease me. I wondered if he would have been this annoying if he had actually been my father growing up. As we worked, I couldn't help but glance towards the cabin, wondering how Alex was doing. This whole situation was far from what we had planned, and I knew it was going to take some time for both of us to adjust. I was trying to stay positive, but deep down, I was worried about how Alex was handling everything. At least I had been a boy before this. Alex has never been a girl before. Finally, I saw Laura and Alex, or rather Kelsey, emerging from the cabin. Alex looked nervous but managed to give me a small smile. She was wearing the pink summer dress that I had originally picked out for myself, and it fit her perfectly. I felt a pang of guilt knowing how uncomfortable she must be. You look great, Kelsey, I said, trying to sound as encouraging as possible. Alex gave me a half-hearted smile. Thanks, Cody, she replied, her voice tinged with uncertainty. Laura joined us by the fire, carrying a bag of marshmallows, chocolate, and graham crackers. Who's ready for s'mores? She asked, her enthusiasm contagious. Me. Ethan and I shouted in unison, making everyone laugh. Even Alex managed a genuine smile. We spent the next hour roasting marshmallows and making s'mores, the fire crackling and popping as the sun set over Willie Lake. The warmth of the fire and the sweet taste of melted chocolate seemed to lift everyone's spirits. For a moment, it felt like we were just a normal family enjoying a weekend getaway. Alex even seemed to be melting into his new role as Kelsey. She kept the dress modestly around her, and even crossed her legs. I wouldn't find out until later that Laura actually taught her how to behave as a girl after she had awakened as a girl. As the stars began to twinkle in the night sky, Ethan stood up and stretched. All right, kiddos, time for bed, he announced in his best dad voice. Alex groaned. Do we have two? He asked pleadingly in his new little girl voice. I will give him credit, he did learn that one pretty fast. Yes, we do, Ethan replied firmly. We have a big day ahead of us tomorrow, and you two need to rest. Laura and I exchanged amused glances as Ethan herded us towards the cabin. Once inside, Laura helped Alex and me get ready for bed. It felt strange to be taken care of like this, but I couldn't deny that there was something comforting about it as well. As I climbed into my makeshift bed, I glanced over at Alex, who was already tucked in. Good night, Kelsey, I whispered. Good night, Cody, she replied, her voice soft. As I closed my eyes, I couldn't help but wonder what tomorrow would bring. This weekend was turning out to be full of surprises, and I had a feeling that there were still more to come. But for now, I let myself drift off to sleep, feeling a sense of peace and camaraderie that I hadn't felt in a long time.